Hey guys, it's Coach Jason. So I want to pivot from my uh, seven key workouts for marathons uh, for sub four hours, sub three thirty, sub three hours, and sub two thirty, and I want to move over to a five k now. Okay, I'm going to be posting five key workouts for sub eighteen, sub seventeen, sub sixteen, and sub fifteen, in addition to the twelve week detailed plans I already have laid out to achieve those goals in my channel. So if you happen to be looking for some additional ways of improving your five k performance, click the subscribe button. Click the bell next to it. Whether you're a coach or an athlete, you'll find information that's going to be very helpful. And uh, these are additional workouts that you could plug into an already existing training program. Um, and I would encourage you to take a look at the program. It may give you some ideas on how to structure your own training or the training of your athletes. Um, it's something that you could follow or obviously turn into your own, however you feel is most appropriate. But it at least serves as a template if you don't have one already to show you how the progression that's required to achieve the goal, whether it's a sub-18 or a sub-17 or whatever it is, okay? So I encourage you to take a look at that. I will post in the description down below the 16-week train, 12-week uh, training program to achieve the sub-18 uh, 5K so you can use them as a reference point or use it as a reference point, okay? And I will post a couple other videos down as well. So let's get to this, okay? Here's some, some five, uh, there are five key workouts that I've used over the years in this over 20 plus years as only a, not only a former competitive runner, but a coach of the last 20 years. And just as an FYI, I'm a USATF certified track and field coach, and I am also a Wharton certified musculoskeletal and flexibility therapist. So not only am I interested in helping people run faster, I'm also interested in keeping them healthy while they do it. Okay, injury prevention is key. Okay, so let's get to these workouts. And these are all workouts that I have used uh, for men and women. Um, Oh, boys and girls, or just male and females. So, all right, so number one, a four mile tempo run. Tempo runs are a staple, especially if you're training for a 5K, okay? This is a workout that I um, would incorporate three times over a 12 week training program, all right? Um, and each time, the goal, so these training paces are the training paces that are commensurate with a sub 18 minute 5K. So, they're tra training paces you want to progress towards. Now, how do you know where your fitness is if you don't know where it is? Take a look down below. I'm going to post a video on my on a one mile time trial, which helps determine your ability level currently for 3K and 5K and 800 and 400. And I'll also post a video down below on how to set the right training paces based on that one mile time trial, so you'll know exactly how far you are or how close you are, and the things that you need to do to get here. Okay, because it's very important that you're training or that your athletes are training at the appropriate levels and not over their heads. Okay, not everybody's going to progress the same way, so it's important that everybody's progressing where in the in the range that they need to be progressing, and you as well. So, and that in turn helps keep you healthy. So anyway, back to the tempo runs. Four mile tempo run. The goal is six twenty to six oh eight per mile. Okay, this is a workout that you repeat three times, like I said, and each time you do a little acceleratory work afterwards. So the first time, after taking a four to five minute active recovery. You go three by 400 meter efforts at 5K pace, okay, with one minute recovery. So it's 85 to 86, which is goal 5K pace, okay? The next time you do the workout after a four to five minute recovery, three weeks later, you do four by 300, okay? Same volume, just turn the reps and made them shorter, okay? But now instead of 5K pace, you're doing four by 300 at 3K pace with a minute recovery. In this, in this case, it's 61 to 62 per rep, okay? The third time you do the workout, after a four to five minute active recovery, you're doing six by 200 or five to six by 200 at mile pace with a one minute recovery, which in this case it's 38 to 39 per rep. Okay, so tempo four miles, or the goal is to build to four miles and do a little bit of acceleratory work on the back end of it to simulate turning over when the legs are already fatigued. Okay, I also simulate the, 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 more, the, the more difficult component towards the back end of a tempo run where you feel you really need to kind of push through, you really need to stay focused and lock in and potentially accelerate. Even if, you, even if you're not accelerating, maintaining an even pace might feel like you're accelerating. So this turnover work is, a, is an important component, not only for you know, stride efficiency to make your running cadence more important, but or more efficient uh, for energy conservation purposes, but to also increase your turnover on the back end as well. Some races might turn, come out to kicks, which is fine. You might be an even an even run race. You really never know what to expect, but I'd rather you be over prepared than under prepared. Okay. Um, workout number two, 
five times a thousand. I call it a progression workout. Now this is a workout, I like to do it actually in cross country, but you can do it training for 5K as well. This is a workout I actually would do five times. Okay. Um, first time, you do all five uh, thousand meter reps with a two minute recovery at your current 5K pace. Okay. The next time you do it, you do four at your current 5K pace and then you do the fifth one at goal 5K pace. Third time you do it, okay, you do three at your goal, okay, uh, three at your, uh, excuse me, three at your current and two at your goal, 5K pace. Fourth time you do it, you do two at your current, three at your goal, okay, and then the fifth time you do it, you either do one at your current and four at your goal or five at your goal pace, depending on where you're how you've been progressing, okay? Uh, or you could do the workout a sixth time and do the sixth time at goal, completely up to you. Or you can even start, instead of doing five at current, you can do four at current and one at goal and then progress from there for five workouts. But it's a way of phasing out of your current 5K pace and progressing into the goal 5K pace, okay? Each time you do it is a two minute recovery after each rep and you work along there, okay? Gradually get used to the, the fat, that goal 5K pace. And in this case, it's 335 to 334 per rep. Slightly faster than sub-18. 18. 18 minutes on the nose is 336 per thousand. You want to train slightly faster. Give yourself a margin of error on the back end. All right? Number three, six times a thousand meter workout. Okay? But this times that threshold with a 60 second recovery, a one minute recovery. The pace is 351 to 348. You can build towards seven or eight reps as well. This is a non invasive way of doing aerobic training, okay? Um, and as a way of doing more volume without requiring the same recovery that you would do in six times a thousand at race pace, okay? Uh, it's an important part of training. It's also a great workout to do race week, okay? So it doesn't sap your legs. So just a thought. That's 351 and 348 per rep. Workout number four, I like 600 meter efforts. Okay, eight to 10 by 600 meter reps, okay, with a 200 meter jog at 5K pace. So in this case, it's 210 to 207 per rep. It's continuous 600 meter efforts. You can do, you can progress from 400s to 500s to 600s, however you like to do it, but I, I like 600 meters. And you can progress from sixes to 800s as well. Instead of doing eight by 600 work, you way towards six by 800 at your goal pace. That's another great progression you can do over time. Okay, but here's eight to ten by six hundreds um, with a two minute, uh, two hundred meter jog. Okay, last workout is a cut down workout. Okay, a mile at five k pace. Okay, five forty six to five forty three. Take a three minute recovery. Twelve hundred meters at five k pace with a two minutes and thirty seconds recovery at four eighteen to four sixteen. Okay, cut down to a thousand with a two minute recovery at three thirty five to three thirty two. All right, which is slightly faster than the 5K pace. Now we're going to cut down to 800 meters, and we're going to go with a 90-second recovery. We're going to do that with a 3K pace, which in this case is 246 to 243. And then we're going to cut down again and do a 400-meter effort to finish it off at mile race pace, 77 to 78 per rep. So each rep gets shorter, and it gets faster. If you do the total volume, a mile, 16, 28, 38, 46, 5,000 meters. Okay, at a progressively faster pace. So these are five workouts that I think would be helpful. Let me know if you think they're helpful. If you do, if you find them interesting, if you think that you know you, you might know somebody else who might can benefit from them, please share it with them. Please click the like button down below. If you have insights of your own, please leave a comment. I respond to all comments. Okay, And please take a look at the other videos that I put down in the description and on my channel. And I do encourage you, if you're going to watch any videos on my channel, watch the entire video. Not just the first minute, not the last minute. I explain everything in detail from beginning to end, so you know the reasoning behind why I'm doing things a certain way. I don't want you to miss out on something and then that be the thing that you need at the end of a race later on. Um, I would hate for that to happen. I learned the hard way over over a long period of time in the beginning so that you don't have to, okay? So please take advantage of these videos, okay? So I'll be moving forward with sub-17 next and then sub-16 and sub-15 workouts for those as well. So keep an eye out. If you're, if you're at that level or have athletes at that level, you might find something helpful. Okay. Uh, other than that, train well, keep healthy. I'll talk to you next time.